and the traffic problems do continue now on midday. The ramp from I-15 southbound to I-D eastbound in South Salt Lake still closed at this hour. The area has been shut down since 4 o'clock this morning after a semi-truck crashed and then sparked a pretty impressive fire. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson has been there all morning and joins us live. Brittany, when will that road reopen? Well, Emily, Utah Highway Patrol hopes to have this on-ramp back open within the next 30 minutes or so, but they are making a lot of progress. You can see behind me here that the semi-truck has been hauled off. So right now, crews are just out here cleaning up all of that diesel fuel left behind. Fire and thick smoke shooting into the sky. Drivers sitting in their vehicles watching from a distance as the semi-truck burst into flames. The crash occurred around 4 o'clock this morning when the semi merged onto eastbound I-80 from southbound I-15. At a high rate of speed, the driver came crashing into this barrier and then continued to slide down the highway here, eventually coming to a rest when its cab landed on top of this concrete wall. Battalion Chief Brady George with Salt Lake City Fire says both the driver and passenger were ejected. Uncertain as to whether they were wearing seatbelts or not, both of them were thrown free of the vehicle prior to the fire. Um, neither appear to have been burned, um, but both did receive injuries both from the impact as well as from the ejection. Firefighters aren't clear what caused the crash, but tell me this stretch of road is a problem. I don't know for sure what contributed to this accident, but Wet roads like this and speed always combine into accidents. Officials want drivers to remember to slow down and take extra precautions when driving on these wet roads. An accident involving another vehicle um, outside of yourself can easily become impactful to your life if you're not paying attention. Now both the driver and the passenger have been taken to a local hospital to be treated for their injuries. For now reporting live in South Salt Lake, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4, Utah.